And here I am. Oh, I fell in a hole. Jesus. Thought I was about to fall off my tree. Hey guys, it's Moss 5 and 7 and I'm back once again in my Let's Play. And you see differences? You see all this? New texture pack. Oh. It's the cool new Mass Effect texture pack that came out, which, honestly, I actually think it looks quite good. Like, I like the way the jungle looks. The only, uh, only bad thing is that, like, this is the crafting table. And these are the furnaces. And, uh, these things have a very futuristic sort of space look because that's what this texture pack was meant for. But I thought I'd kick off the episode just kind of showing it to you guys because, you know, I think you guys should really go check it out. Like, it costs four bucks, and for four bucks, you're getting, let's see. You're getting like the the whole cool menu system, like how it's all changed. You're getting, let's see, where's the skin pack? No, I want I want to be Shepard right now. Uh, you get all these different Mass Effect skins. Uh, what else do you get? You get you get that texture pack. You get the soundtrack, which you guys can probably hear in the background. You get a lot of things for only four bucks, so I think it's worth it. So if you guys want to check it out, see a cool thing, and you get the the world included, that's like the Mars facility, all that stuff. I would recommend checking it out. So what I've done on uh, off camera is I've added this spiral staircase that leads pretty much all the way down to the ground so I actually have an easier time getting up and down this tree. I gotta remove these vines though because when I'm trying to run up the stairs and obviously I want to stay on the inside not the outside so I don't fall, I keep catching on the vines and it's kind of a pain. Um, under, under the pathways I've actually put logs all along the side and you can see where the logs go and then it ends up going downward. I put a fence so it kind of like connects them and it looks like it's all supported properly. Uh, under here, there's like a pathway and I actually added leaves to make it look nicer. And uh, I've just mainly been doing that. I've just been adding some stuff off camera. I added some crafting tables right here. Uh, I got my chest, which I've actually started to organize with like wood, other wood, other wood. You know, and then here's like some miscellaneous. I still gotta do like a birch chest. But you know, I got the storage room looking good. It's very nice. It's just something simple just to get me by right now. You know, probably in the future I'll remodel it at some point. But, you know, what I wanna do this episode is I wanna, I wanna get a... You know, get my house going, get like the upper floor going, and then decorate the stairs. You know, do stuff like that. So I think that's my plan. And I'm going to change the texture back back because I, I don't really think it really fits in all that well. But, you know, I kind of just wanted to show you guys it because I think it looks pretty cool. And I really think you guys should check it out because if you're a Mass Effect fan or if you just, you know, you want to just change up the game, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I really like it. So, yeah, that is uh, that is the texture back, and I will see you guys in a second. And I'm back. You like that little cool transition? I'm, I'm assuming it did something cool where, uh, you know, I, I was like saved and I was facing this way. And then, you know, I had the one texture pack and then it loaded in with this one. And uh, it feels nice. It feels nice to actually have my jungle feel back. But I'm really excited just to, you know, finally have texture packs on the console. Just, you know, all the changes are very cool. The Mass Effect one's, uh, it's a little futuristic and spacey. So it really doesn't fit in with this sort of jungle theme I'm going for but if I ever did sort of a uh, like let's say I started a creative world and I was like this creative world is gonna be nothing but Star Wars or like spacey theme then I could be using that texture pack the entire time I do that series or something and I think it'd be cool so you know hopefully they come up with more texture packs that will I guess more appeal to me like I still think it's very cool it's a very cool texture pack and uh, you know I like it and just I was I was a little like disappointed that they kicked it off with Mass Effect because I was like hmm Mass Effect like like I myself am not a big Mass Effect fan I was just never I never got into the game but recently I actually picked up the Mass Effect trilogy because uh you know mainly because I was like you know what you know what since the texture pack came out I want to be a fan of the Mass Effect franchise so I went and bought the trilogy I've already played a couple hours in the first game and uh that's why I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time on when uh I'm not recording but but yeah texture pack overall though it's a really cool one and I really you know I think you guys should get it it's cool the whole Mars facility map's awesome and you know, you can get the trial of it and go, you know, test it out and see if you like it and stuff like that. The only thing you can't do is, uh, I don't think you can use the skins, and then I don't think you can save your game. But overall, very, very cool. Alright, let's get started here. So again, I really wanted to do an enchant this episode, but I feel I'm still going to be unable to because I started collecting books. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see where my books are. I think I put them over here in my, my cool little storage room. Yeah, I only have 11 bookcases. I forgot how many I need. I know I need a good amount, but... I can at least start getting it situated, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have my enchanting room be like right above here, like right above this uh, this area, this uh, what's it called, my storage room, and then over here is just going to be my bedroom, and uh, this is going to be a very oddly shaped room. Let me tell you guys, it's going to be very, very weird, and uh, again, I'm winging it, that's what this entire sort of living in the trees thing is going to be, is me winging it, and pretty much what I want to do is get the enchanting room built, get uh, my room all built up and then finish the staircase going down and then my tree will be for the most part or completed and then I think 
I'll get another tree grown like next episode, which all the way down there, that's where the ground is, way down there. And like my tree is kind of built on a hilltop. So if I try to build a jungle tree, or well not build, but like plant seeds and make it, it's probably only going to go like this high. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow one and then at the very top, I'm going to go plant another one right on top of it and grow it. So it's going to be like a little taller than mine maybe, or even at level with it, and then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to start connecting them, and it's going to be cool. And a lot of people were kind of upset with me doing stuff off camera, but guys, I can't do it all. Like, let me tell you guys, this was just a pain to do, like do all this, like, you know, kind of going down, like I almost fell and died so many times, it was... It was just ridiculous, but someone suggested something very good. They said, oh, you could do a Q&A while, uh, you know, while doing, you know, while doing, uh, what's it called? While doing this, uh, you know, the whole boring process of it. And I thought that was a good idea. So maybe that's something I will do is I'll do a Q&A, you know, during the boring parts. I don't want to do a Q&A yet because I, uh, I know I did one recently, but I definitely think it's a good idea just to do, you know, one at some point while doing the boring stuff. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do a little of the boring stuff on camera and then I want to... I'm going to cut away and finish all of it because, uh, you know, I feel that I don't need to show all of this because it's a bit of a pain. It really is. So you can see, it's kind of weird how you can see, like, these, like, right here with the logs, like, this is this is the feel I want. Like, when I'm on a pathway, here, let's, uh, let's find that pathway. It's, all, it's up here. Like, I like this feel where you got the slabs and you have a little bit of the log, like, the upper half on it. And you can see at certain parts, like this is level with the logs and that's why i added in fences originally i was just going to have it as the slabs but i thought you know what i think the logs actually look pretty nice as to the feel and i'm going to keep it that way and i think it looks pretty cool hopefully you guys like it because i'm really like a lot of people were commenting saying oh man what if he just what if he hates his next season and i'm like nope you know what i'm actually really enjoying it i think it's i'm having a lot of fun with this and i hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i am because you know as much as the walking dead world was awesome it's like i was just ready for something new and this is just, it's just enjoyable, like, once I'm all situated, you know, I get, like, a, you know, a good food source going, like, I get a farm going, and, uh, you know, the rest of the other stuff, I think, I'm gonna be building like crazy, it is gonna be ridiculous, it's just gonna be me going like crazy, I may be able to do all this without cutting away, because, eh, it's a little bit to do, but, you know, maybe I'll just, I'll show you guys the process, just because you guys can see what I'm, uh, what I'm doing, you know, so if you guys if you guys are trying to like replicate sort of what I'm doing or at least build along the lines of the same theme, you can see that I did I did two wide slabs and then uh, you know I pretty much had them come down the tree as a spiral all the way around it, and then I'm adding logs on the side of it. So for anyone trying to build something similar to me, this is what you gotta do. So I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna stop here and now I'm gonna go get some fences and I'm gonna just sort of do the whole theme of what the stairs are gonna be, like the whole decoration I'm going for, and then I'm gonna cut away and then I'll finish the rest of it off camera. I don't want to spend all day doing that. All right, where are my God? I have a storage room, but I always come all the way upstairs for my uh, my storage needs. Where are my fences? They are. Do I really only have three? That's actually a pain. Ah, what do I what do I use? What do I use? Let's just use all of these. Yeah, I need to I need to get wood actually to use for like wood purposes. You know, like to make fences, sticks, stuff like that. But. I guess I'll have to use this jungle wood for right now. This should be more than enough to get going. But yeah, I think uh, one reason why they went with the Mass Effect texture pack also is because some of the other texture packs, uh, apparently they have trouble like running on the Xbox or something like that because they're they're too awesome of a texture pack. And then uh, there was like other reasons. I think like one reason why like highly used texture packs on the PC were ones that just like. I guess like the average person made like you know they created that texture pack so 4j would have to get approval from the person using that texture pack or something along those lines i don't know all the details but you know as far as i could tell if someone actually did make that texture pack uh then you know if they wanted to use it especially since they're charging people for it they would have to get the person's approval to like you know pretty much sell something they made all right i need to get under this thing how do i oh oh be careful be careful can i jump yep there we go awesome Alright, so pretty much right at these spots where it's, uh, you know, it kind of connects where it's like this diagonal. I thought it looked kind of bad, so then I just put one of these in there to kind of look like it's supporting it or just connecting it all. And then let's, let's try to get back around here. Let's put one there. And I think I need to get back up here, which if I can just keep going along the edges here, I would be a happy man. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this one. This is going to be a little risky. Do I have one under here? I do not. Ah. Alright, let's uh let's go right here. Bam. 
and then can we oh no oh jesus jesus this is gonna be every episode now that i end up falling for some really dumb reason because i'm not a very smart man so right there there we go and then looking good and then i think i'll do i want to connect it no i don't need to connect it there no. but see you can see what i'm going for here it's just a pretty simple thing and then I'm going to add like bushes all along sort of like here just to kind of maintain the theme of it looking like it's not all, you know, not like it's all man-made. Like it is man-made, but you want it to look like you used like what you had at your disposal and not like the tree ended up growing all over it and stuff like that. And just overall, it's a, you know, it's very cool for me winging this. Oh, I'm still wearing my shepherd skin. I'm a fancy man. Um... Yeah, so for me just winging this, you know, like kind of had a base idea in my head and I just went with it. I think it looks pretty good, actually. So yeah, I'm going to continue finishing that off camera and I'll see you guys once I'm done with it. Okay, so I am done adding uh, a little details on the side. I still have to add some vines because I just completely made the trunk of this tree like very barren of any vines. But I think I'm going to add them to the outside of the logs here. Like not down here because this is obviously near the ground. But all along the sides here I'll actually you know, take some vines. I'm going to grow down and just you know kind of kind of hang off. Shroud this area in mystery. But you can see it. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Let's actually see if we can run away here. Kind of get a little distance between us and... We need to come up with a name for this tree. Mother tree just doesn't cut it. We need something awesome. We'll call it Chewbacca land. But, oh, that looks so cool. It just, imagine this, and then um, just tons of trees that are all connected. Just right now, this is my tree. This is the, yeah, this is Chewbacca land. I like, I like that name. Even though Chewbacca lived on Kashyyyk, and this is the Ewok planet, which is, they lived on the moon of Endor. Or, I, I don't even know. I don't, my Star Wars knowledge is uh, going a little downhill. My, my mind is a little foggy, but overall, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, right here, I'm a little sketchy about because uh, this is very low. It kind of makes me feel claustrophobic, but I think I can actually remove that. I don't think... Oh, no! That is kind of my floor, but I'm going to add to it. So, yeah, my floor upstairs is going to be like one layer, which is going to kind of suck, but whatever. Actually, no, I don't have to worry about it. I can just mine that out and like... Technically, it looks like I left the tree kind of all by itself, except I just mined out a little bit just so I don't feel, you know, just so I don't feel so cramped and stuff. But really, overall, I just like it. I feel I feel very cozy, but that looks good. All right, let's actually get to work up here. We'll just add these leaves kind of around just to kind of give me a little room to work with here. And what do I have to do? I have to... I feel like I have to do measurements first, though. Let's uh, let's get our enchanting table made because it's been a it's been a while. It has been a while. My voice kind of cracked there as I said a while. I was like a while. <laughs> uh, it saddens me that I'm almost 20 years old and uh, my voice still does its little little cracks. It happens though. It happens to the best of us. All right, so we needed what four obsidian. Someone said I should make a nether portal first, and then when I go to the nether, mine out the corners of my nether portal to get the uh. To get the obsidian, which I could do that, but I don't have a place to put my nether portal and I don't want to deal with the hassle of like making one now and then having to tear it down and make it later. So I'll just go to the nether at a later time. So let's just take, uh, oh, there we go. We took half of it. Boom. There's that. Is it that, that, and then we need a book. I have a book here. Kabam. And can we make one? Can we? Oh, boom. There we go. I don't know. Enchanting tables when you make them feels very satisfying. Alright, let's get a jungle log to place this on, because I don't think we can play. Wait, can we? Can we just place you on the ground? <gasps> we can! Cool. Um, let's... Please... Okay. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I got it back. I didn't know if I had to use a diamond pickaxe. Alright, so my problem is, is that I have to place this somewhere and kind of just work with the placement. There's really no measurements going on here. It's just... I gotta work with what I do. So let's just... Eh, let's just place it... Let's place it there. You can see it looks kind of uneven, but once I add stuff in, I think this will even it up a little bit. So let's go there, there, and then go like this. So yeah, oh, I shouldn't have put books on the corner because that's kind of waste, uh, waste right now. But right now, let's just, there, we have the base thing, and all we have to do is, how many books was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, we need... We need 11 more books. But there we go. That actually looks good. And what levels will I get from that? Let's throw a sort of... Oh, I can actually get level 22? Ooh. 
so I am kind of close to level 30. Let's, uh, hold on, let's uh, see if we remove the corners. That won't affect us, will it? Oh, that did affect us. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hold on, let's, uh, let's make some wood here. And let's actually make some bookcases once again. One, two. And then let's actually put these, like, up like that. Alright, so we got 22 back in, so we don't have to add those in the corner, which is actually saving us a little bit of room. We can just put, like, some logs there. So, alright, that actually looks good right now. I actually need to go, uh, I have some sugar cane growing down here. As you can see, I have my little farm down there. So, let's actually take a little bit of a plunge down there. I need to be careful not to die. I have an awesome stairway that I could be using, but I'm not using it because I'm clearly not the smartest man ever. I'm more using it just for the return trip. I like having this water down here where uh, I always try to land in this one by one source block. Oh, missed it. That was too high up. I definitely would have died. Alright, let's uh, just get us some sugar cane here. And there's a cow. We can go kill him too. But I like this though. I like that, you know, I'm kind of taking my time with it. You know, before, like I would have liked to have a level 30 enchantment by now, but I really have hardly been using my pickaxe, so it's really no big rush for me to be like, oh, I gotta get my pickaxe made, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm freaking out. It's like, no, it's, no, I'm fine right now. I'm good. I need to more work on, I think something I'm going to work on that Waffle suggested to me was he said, uh, on the ground, on the ground floor, like down here, I should actually like mine out and make like a, a wooden path. So that way, like it actually leads through the jungle. And then I also had an idea from, uh, my buddy Harley. He said, in his, uh, he has a series that's called Road to the Dragon, where it's uh, pretty much he like goes and kills the Ender Dragon, and it's like a sort of a let's play on that. And uh, pretty much where his, uh, he has a bunch of people join all the time and stuff like that, and he has it where, at his uh, area where you spawn at, he makes sort of like a little spawn village sort of thing, where people, when they, you know, when people join, they can get some good gear, stuff like that. And I think one thing I'll do is, uh, Maybe for like live streams, I'll get a little spawn area made up, and then when I like live stream and do stuff like that, and if I have like fans join or even just my friends join, I'll have an area where, you know, there's beds there you can sleep in, there's tools you can grab like right off the bat, stuff like that, just to, you know, really kind of help people out if they join for the first time. Because I do want to involve myself more with you guys to really, you know, let you guys come play, do stuff like that, and I think you guys will enjoy that. So that should be a little, you know, a little bonus for you guys. You guys are like, oh my god, Moss is gonna let us come play. Oh my god, that's so cool. You guys will be like, yay. There we go, make that so uh, I can get two more bookcases. Let's uh, get some more wood going. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I was I was gonna spend some time trying to get enough bookcases off camera, and I kind of I kind of neglected that. <laughs> kind of was like, hey, I'm gonna play video games instead of you know working on that. So probably oh, I'm super close to level 30. So maybe maybe towards the end of the episode, I'll actually have enough. I need to actually get level 30 also. So that's a little a little bit bad on my part. But let's actually try to cover this thing up in some leaves and make this thing look natural you know kind of make the thing stick with uh, the sort of the theme I'm going for here we can actually try growing a tree too I think that'd be kind of fun so let's add these in the corners and then let's uh oh let's actually add like right here too add these here that's kind of cool ah oh, the only thing I don't like though is that now it's like hmm no 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 I do like that hold on let's uh let's get some leaves too do I have any leaves in here Play the leaves downstairs, cause I'm a, I'm a fool. I need to get downstairs and get it. Do do, do do do. There we go. Um, let's actually one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna use these to grow. So we're gonna take that. Uh, we're gonna take all our leaves. See, this is what I need to do. I need to do uh, a lot of grinding out off camera and getting more supplies because you guys don't want to watch me just mine a bunch of trees that's not entertaining but you know, at least for right now get this going so let's actually add this so this will be like a little doorway where it's kind of like you can kind of see through it's pretty cool all right and then let's add in let's just go on the top let's just go all across the top right now kind of roof this bad boy off so do that do that how does that look kind of looks good it kind of looks good so you come in it's like but I do and then and then we're just gonna kind of pretty much cover the outside of it and try to make it not look natural but from a distance you want it to look like the top of a tree so we're gonna have to really make this thing kind of have a natural look to it so it's gonna be a little a little tough but I am uh, I'm always up for a challenge 
do that, do that. I kind of want to have the logs visible, but right now I just want to completely cover it up for the time being. So let's do that. Do that, do that. Do that. Do that. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Now let's try to give it a little bit of a natural look. Like that. Uh, how many more leaves we got? We're running out. We are running out of leaves. Um, let's actually get the roof going. This isn't too low, is it? It's, uh, I think it's too high, but... Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That looks good. Our only downside is that if I need to add torches, I don't think I can... Oh, well, I can add it on the side of the bookcase, so no worries. We are good on that. Alright. Um, yeah, this kind of looks weird from the outside. It looks like a little, just a little room thing. Can we add, try to make it look a little more natural? Like, add... Okay, not like a zigzag. <laughs> that looks weird. Alright, um... Do something like that. I think from a distance it'll look fine. Uh, up close this looks a little weird, but, you know, whatever. Alright, that looks good. I actually need more supplies though. I need more, more, uh, more materials. So Waffle is telling me, he's like, I want to live in that tree. So that's where Waffle is going to be residing. At some point, once I'm very, very situated, I have extra stuff to really hand out, like supply-wise. Like, I have enough iron, but once I'm sort of set up in my own house, then I'm actually going to, I'll have some people come in and, uh, you know, we'll play, like, I'll have Waffle come in and we can get going on his house and stuff like that. Let's get our bone meal. And do I need anything else? I don't think I do. I do not think I do. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Wanna, we want to go over here. What if I actually grew one, like, off right here? This is actually a perfect location. Do I have dirt? I only have one dirt. No! I need more dirt. Crap. I gotta head back home. Oh, God. I should have just cut away and just walked away and be like, alright, I'm back. But no, I stay, I stick with my mistakes. But I didn't even know. I was, I thought I was going to the ground and I was just playing on the ground, but I just thought of that right on the spot. I was like, I'm going to add, you know, add it in right here. And do I have my dirt over here? I have like my supplies all mixed around. It's ridiculous. Let's just take all that. Da da do. But I really do like this though. Like just, oh, just living in the trees. It's, it's cool. It's been something that like, Ever since seeing Star Wars, I was like, holy crap, like, the Ewoks in the trees, that's like the coolest thing ever, is just living up there, it's just super cool. Alright, so let's do this, let's all do one of these little numbers, kaboom. So, this isn't as far left as I wanted it to be, but then, like, to there, that's too far left. But then again, this is like, from here to there, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good, like, decent sized gap where I could grow another one there, that would be perfect. Alright, now this, I fear, is gonna be way too tall. Come on, don't be too tall. Oh, is that like perfect? Oh, game, do you love me? Please tell me you do. Well, let's try to get on the leaves here. There we go. And then we will jump across. Let's take a look. Oh, that's like perfect. That's that's like the perfect tree for like a middle tree. You know, where we're not going to be living at and no one's going to be living here. This is just to support our bridges. It's a support tree. Oh, beautiful. I like it. All right, let's head back to our tree and then get like an upper view of it and then we can actually figure out where we'll do a <gasps> is right here perfect right here is probably the perfect area to exit at it goes from oh yes this is our exit this is where i'm gonna exit from oh my god everything's going perfect right now i like it i'm, I'm too excited i have to calm myself down i'll just chill out just, just scream at myself and say you gotta calm down man you gotta calm down i already have my slabs though i'm not gonna build all the way there right now like, I think I'm going to work on, like, a bridge off-camera a little bit. But, right now, we're going to make this thing look fancy. So, we'll do a little step here. Wait, do I want the step there? Do I? Do I want the step? Do I? I, I don't know if I do. I think I... No, no, I don't want the step there. I want the, it to be... Do that. And then let's actually drop down here. And let's remove that. I want it to be the upper part before it drops off. You gotta, you gotta maintain that pathway if you guys get what I mean. That's water! And I just ruined my source block. God dang it. Ah, and I was saying everything was going in my favor. Alright. And then we'll have this go out like that. And then let's get back upstairs real quick just to get rid of that. I gotta, I gotta hurry up and run low on time here. I wanted to do an enchant. Gotta go get some more, uh, get some more bookcases. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. We want to... We want to get some wood going over here. Ding, ding. Um, is that where I wanted it? Yes, this is where I wanted it. i do that. And then let's add... No, no, not add. Let's add the slabs here. 
and then let's go right here so it looks like it's drooping down like it's sort of like a like a rope bridge that's hanging down so it goes like that and then that should be far enough down where now we'll have it just go all the way across you guys get what I mean yeah I like that that looks good that looks cool alright so that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring this pretty much off camera out over to here to this tree I'll connect it into that tree and like later on we'll make this like a little sort of base platform and then at some point I'll connect it over to there and then I'll, I'll begin working over there so yeah I'm uh, gonna go get 30 levels like I'm gonna get two more levels and get enough sugar cane for a level 30 bookcase or whatever you want to call it, so I can get like level 30 enchantment off the books, and then I'm going to enchant pickaxe. So I'll see you guys once I have all that done. Alright everyone, I've achieved level 30. I have made a bow, as you can see, and I have 36 arrows, so I finally finally went uh, went mob hunting, and I uh, I got some arrows and, and bows and all that stuff. No, I actually got some string from the spider, and look what I did. I connected the pathway. So, so yeah, like that's pretty much what I wanted to do was I had it come down here a little bit, and then, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I don't know if I want to put logs here, or if I just want to put fences where the fences will be floating, but it's supposed to kind of look like it's, uh, not like it's rope, but it's supposed to give it more of like a bridge feel, I guess. So I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, and one thing I'm concerned about is this, it just looks like it's floating here for a while, and even once it connects to this, it's like what's supporting it, so since this tree is actually here, I think I'm just going to put like a couple sort of log pillars along it so it looks like it's supported properly but uh, I don't know I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet and maybe just maybe this tree right there still feels like it's a little far away so I think I may grow another tree right around there like you know that doesn't look too far down so I could grow it like right around here and then I could connect it again and then to there and then it's just gonna look cool and I'm pretty excited for it now for what you've all been waiting for I shall enchant a new pickaxe or for my first pickaxe the first enchant of the season so I'm very excited so let's grab uno dos tres and we're left with two so now I can actually use those two to make a sword and enchant a sword too but I'm a uh, I'm not super concerned about that. That's not something that has to happen right away. Now sticks. Sticks need two of them. I got two of my end. And if you guys haven't noticed, made some cookies, which they're actually kind of a waste, but whatever. Got cocoa beans for free now. Alright, and dime pickaxe. And now for the moment of truth. Please, please, Lords of Minecraft, give me something good. Alright, ready? Eh. Ooh! I got a silk touch for my first one. I'm so happy. Yay. That's awesome. That is awesome. And it's unbreaking three, which is why I wanted more. Efficiency could be cool to break stuff quicker, but I'm a lot happier with getting them breaking out, so now it's going to last forever. So, awesome. It's not a work pickaxe where I can just use for everything, but it's an awesome pickaxe. So let's just store this in here for safekeeping. And that's awesome. Getting silk touch for my first pickaxe because... Last season, the first pickaxe I enchanted, I only got Unbreaking 3. So getting the Silk Touch added onto there is pretty awesome. And I'm happy with it. And hopefully you guys were, uh, were happy with, uh, you know, what's been going on this episode. Because last episode you guys were like, Modest, you hardly did any work. And I felt like I did a lot of work. In this episode, I feel like I did a lot. I, uh, and I added the enchanting room up here. I got enough bookcase for level 30, which I can add more just to, you know, make the look look cooler. But, you know, I got a little room going on here, which I think needs a little bit of work, but overall I like it. It's just, you know, it's supposed to look like it's kind of part of the tree that I just added to it. Uh, next episode, I definitely want to work on my room area, just kind of get some walls going here and just kind of, you know, make it more safe, I guess. Uh, I got the whole walkway going all the way down, which I did a bunch off camera, but I showed you guys, you know, the basics of it. Uh, I got the awesome looking storage room. And, you know, I got I got everything. This, this is just looking good, and I'm happy with it. So, you know, like always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, see ya.